Hi everyone, welcome to the Crafty Goals collab with Amalia. Um, I am here to do my recap of August, which has been kind of a mess of a month, at least the second half of it. So let me just jump in. I did my spreadsheets um, this time again. So I get all collab projects done and video up on time, see pink calendar. I don't even want to show you the pink calendar. It's a mess. I do keep another sheet, which will go over on my last goal. But basically, second half of the month was a mess. My computer died, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I was supposed to do 23 videos. I only did 17. I was supposed to do eight lives. I actually did nine, but one of them I almost shouldn't count because it was just a test on the phone to try and see if I could do the phone. Um, so 26 total out, out of 31, so five less. The problem is that the five that I didn't do were ones that would have produced items. So I'm also down in items. Anyway, okay, so that's that. Curb personal spending. Um, I did spend $25.80. I bought some handmade flowers and embellishments from Lori Seabrook here on YouTube, and she goes by something else um, on Instagram, which is where she's selling these things. So anyway, I bought those. I did not do anything to finish my Love You A Latte. I only have seven sheets left, didn't touch it in August. So that's bad me. And thank you Paige for being understanding. Um, I also didn't touch my Mint To Be Fab, but I did finish most of the way a six by six uh, Christmas farmhouse and I used that on 10 on the 10th. I'm trying to get this here it is. 10 on the 10th. So this is what I have left of that. So I considered it pretty well smashed except these are all cut apart and maybe a couple little scraps. So I did I'm going to call it smashed uh, a 6 by 6 but I still have to work through 50 and a half sheets out of mint to be fab. So bad me on that also. Oh, make jewelry. I did make two pieces. Didn't photograph, price, or do it, but this is the month. I am going to do it. I made a red dangle necklace and earrings, which I don't have right here to show. So go back and watch that if you didn't from the having fun making jewelry on the 18th. Now, when my computer died, um, the uh, software where I tracked all my inventory and stuff, which I had been doing some of uh, this year. Um, unfortunately, the last backup I did was November 28, 2019. So I did lose some stuff. So there will be a day I'll be designating in September, and I don't know what that is just yet, probably soon, uh, where I'm going to have to spend doing nothing but re-entering some data into that inventory system. Um, and maybe I think I'll spend that whole day just backing, uh, taking pictures, getting stuff listed, getting it in my inventory system. You know, I, it looks like the parts inventory is okay, but the, except for taking stuff out of it from the pieces that I made, uh, it's just the pieces that I made this year. So anyway, I have to catch that up and that, uh, Hopefully will be September. The computer seems to be doing good now. The hard drive had gone and the guy recovered most everything except that software. When you reinstall it, it overwrites everything to, and takes it back to the beginning. And so um, I had to reinstall with a backup and the last one was November 28th. Yeah, what a mess. Bad me. I'm going to start setting a date on my calendar, I think, for not only transferring YouTube videos off my computer onto a special hard disk I have, but also doing a complete system backup as well as the jewelry inventory backup first. So yeah, bad me. Okay, Star of the Art Bar. Okay, wait, two random acts of kindness. Um, I didn't do any in August, I'm so sorry. I am way behind. I know it's Rosie D for August, sorry Rosie. And now Kathleen for September. So they're going to both go out um, hopefully by next Saturday. And I didn't do any other random in August either. And guys, even my Stampin' Up! Thank Yous are behind another month or two or something. But I'll, I will get them out this month. Excuse me. I did not do stickier side of crafting. Didn't really use any stickers. I don't remember... 
using any um, base cards and envelopes unless I did for 10 on the 10th. Um, but I, I'm not sure. I wrote no if I did. Oh, um, it wasn't that many. And I did not spend time organizing, and that has to happen too. I'm, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. So, of course, because I didn't do a lot of those collabs and things, I also uh, am down. Last month I made 196 items. This month I made 77. See attached schedule. I'm going to close my pink book because it's a mess, and here's my expense tracker showing the 2580 last month i spent 40 the month before was a new big shot so yeah and again i don't count stamping up or the jewelry business but i haven't been spending anything in the jewelry business for a long time um okay so let me show you what i made i made lovely ladies collab on the first which was birds or butterflies and i made two cards which were butterflies and then I made some, um, this was for Saturday stamping, which is now Sunday stamping. This was from Life is Beautiful, and I made backgrounds with embossing. And that one, and that one, these are Stampin' Up. Okay, and then we made, um... The birthday cards, it was a sheet load. I made six cards. I used one of these already, I believe. Yes, I did. I sent one of these out. So, and I guess it was one of these. Don't even remember where I sent it, but <laughs> one of them went out. So I had six. Those were sheet load of cards, which I did not do in September, guys. Um, so, but I'll be back in October for that. This was also using Life is Beautiful, and I showed how to do, this was on, um, I think it was a special video on August 6th. I just made the two cards, and I did them because when I did these, I had mentioned that I wanted to do use black embossing folder or powder, but Stampin' Up! didn't sell that anymore, so I showed how to do it using the Stamparatus black ink and then clear embossing powder. So that's what I did on those two. Plus I did a background using the dry brush um, background stamp and some black glitter paper. So that's what I did for that, only those two cards. And then um, I made three cards on a Friday Live using the Gilded Autumn. I made background paper on the on those two. This one, I just used paper um, from the Gilded Autumn set. And I embossed on um, foil paper, the um, a brick. I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. These are all Stampin' Up! products. So I made those three cards. That was for a Friday live. I did a mini haul and those three cards. And then on Sunday stamping, I showed three different ways to use the big die in the Lovely Leaves um, dies from Stampin' Up. One is like icicles, one is a cityscape. And one is just um, a decorative border with the leaves that also come in that set. So I made those three. Um, and that was, what date was that? That was the 9th. And then on 10 on the 10th, I made 10, uh, 14 cards. And these were using that um, Farmhouse Christmas so that one, that one, that one, that one with the embossing, I love that, that one, that one. These are mostly using Stampin' Up! card, uh, I'm not, these white ones, I'm not sure if they're Stampin' Up! card. Um, that's why I said I wasn't sure if I used any A2s. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. I did, oh, I did use, um, I remember now, 
these red mats. That was what I was trying to use up. So I did use some in stock. I used some of these um, blank card and envelope sets, 20 cards and envelopes, but the cards are just a, a sheet. They're not, a, they don't open. So I did use some of those, but I don't know if I'm even gonna count those because I, I didn't obviously. And this is one of those too, and then I just stamped on it. And some of these pieces in the backs of these cut aparts are. So in fact, that's what I, I remember now. I started off wanting to use those, um, the red things. And um, so yeah, I did use some of them, but not all of them. It looks like I only used about five or six of them. And some mirror cardstock from um, Hot Off the Press, I believe. Paperwishes.com. So I made 14 of those. And then that was the 10 on the 10th. And then for the 11th, I made embellishments. I made Christmas rosettes, which I didn't decorate yet. And I made also some... Um, two autumn rosettes and one bag topper using the gilded autumn. Um, and this is using gather together. So those were my embellishments on the 11th. There were eight embellishments. And then, um, oh, let me see, when did I do the box? That was on the 15th. Okay, so then we're not there yet. So also on the 11th, I made these on my Tuesday Night Live using the right angle stamp and die set from Stampin' Up. And these two use the Flowers for Every Occasion paper. These use the uh, Wrapped in Christmas, I think it's called, paper. And the dies that go with the right angle set and then this used the dies and a designer series color family dsp and the brights so i made those three well five cards <laughs> and some um gold from the forever greenery and the daffodil delight no bumblebee um Gingham ribbon. Oh, gosh, my brain. Okay, so that was on Tuesday night. And then on, oops, um, the 14th on Friday, I used uh, Gilded Autumn, Beautiful Autumn. Anyway, this paper actually, I think, was out of the poinsettia paper. This is the old world embossing folder. And this is Celebration of Tidings, um, smallest die. And I believe these are out of the Peaceful Bows. So I used a whole bunch of things on Tuesday, that Tuesday night to make some cards. That one, this is the beautiful autumn with the wheelbarrow. This was out of Celebration of Tidings dies. Um, this is out of the Gilded Autumn paper. And this is out of beautiful autumn stamp set, I think, or yeah, I think. Anyway, and then this one, which this is out of Gilded Autumn. These are the heartfelt punches. I did use an embossing folder. I can't remember right now which one, um, but I made those two cards in mint macaron. Oops, sorry. Have a beautiful day. My heart is grateful for you. So those are five cards from a Friday Live. And then on that Saturday, um, which I can't remember what date that was, the 15th, I made, I altered a box for the Stuff It collab bags, boxes, and purses. And I used the um, In Good Taste textured paper, textured looking paper, I used the pink. This is also, this is Blushing Bride, and I used the Celebration of Tidings stamp, uh, dies. And then 
This was one of the Lori Seabrook flowers I bought. This is a poinsettia beaded uh, flower center from Stampin' Up. And then this was stuff I had in my stash from Michael's, I think, and some ribbon I had in my stash. And this was a Whitman's candy box that I altered. Um, so yeah, I think maybe I'll use that to keep my cards in for September so I don't lose them. So then also on the 15th, we had craft our stash. So I again used the Christmas farmhouse and I was trying to use up the larger sheets. So I made um, six, six, well, six by six cards, but I cut these down a little bit so that, well, some of them I did. This one I think is a full six by six. Now, and the papers I use, this is not Stampin' Up. This is uh, from a hot buy from Michaels. This probably is Stampin' Up Thick Whisper White. I think I had some, or maybe just Whisper White. I had some um, 12 by 12, and I had some 12 by 12 um, Cherry Cobbler, I believe that is. So I used that, but I made it really thick by layering with the mirror card and whisper white so that's mary and bright two of those and then i had this one so and i had this smaller cut apart and use some mirror card on cherry cobbler i believe and then this one and this is on the white also and i just made it thicker by outlining another piece of white so those were my six cards for craft our paper stash cards on the 15th and we're getting there guys and then this was from sunday stamping which i do normally around five o'clock or sometime after five in the evening this is the beautiful you stamp set and this was all about coloring so this one was done with uh, the alcohol marker stamp and blends and using a piece of paper from the boho indigo so that's that one. This one I was using um, um, markers, I believe, uh, water-based, dye-based, dye ink, water-based markers, and kind of watercoloring the background on them. No, that was the next one. This was colored pencils. This was watercolor pencils, excuse me. And this paper's from the um, I can't remember. It's in the annual catalog, Stampin' Up. I can't remember the name of it. And this one's from that same, Playing With Patterns. It's called Playing With Patterns. This one and this one here came from that. This is using the markers and inks, uh, Stampin' Up inks and dye base markers. And I just did it on white, uh, thick paper. So that's that one. So those three cards were from Sunday Stamping. And then these two cards were from the monthly card collab hosted by Metal Scrap and Chick and Crafty... Crafty Crab? Yeah. And the theme was Magical and Mythical. So I made two fairy cards. These are mostly not Stampin' Up! products or retired. And, um, yeah, so if you missed that, go back and watch that. Very sparkly, magical and mythical. So that was on August 16th. And then I had the paper pumpkin kit. And I just made three cards, I think it was, as intended. Yep, just made three cards as they were intended. That's a shaker one. And these two are not. Um, I never got around to making alternatives with that, but I'm hoping I get to do that for this coming Monday. And then the next thing I did was August 24th. So that um, paper pumpkin was on the 20th. And then I didn't do anything till the 24th, which was Friday. And I just made two cards. And um, that was the 21st. And the day after that, in the morning, my computer wouldn't turn on correctly. So always grateful, nice masculine car. And this one I love, um, I think that turned out, this was free form Friday, I was winging it that day. That's how it turned out. Um, so I think I did pretty good. And then on 
the 28th. So I went from the 21st to the 28th without doing anything. So I missed Paper Pumpkin Alternative, Sunday Stamping, Tuesday Night Live, Stickier Side of Crafting. And then the 28th, I did a live testing to do it on my phone. Thank you, left-handed crafter Brandy, who helped me figure that out. But I also skipped the Pinspiration collab on the 29th. But I did do Friday Evening Live, and that's what this is. I did it in two parts, though, because <laughs> we had a really bad storm, and I was terrified that my roof was leaking during it. So I started with this one. Um, actually, this is the one I made before the live. This is the one I made on the live. So cute. I used um, Have a Hoot stamp set and coordinating dies and the plaid tidings paper on that. And this one I used, I um, can't remember the name of the set, but it's the holiday jar set in the mini catalog. This is from Gather Together um, embossing folder, which is um, like metal. And this is from the Gilded Autumn, stamp by stamp paper by Stampin' Up. And that's the inside. And same on this one, turn this way. This was one I made before the live. And this is the one I did on the live. So really cute. Just the two cards in parts one and two. And then the last thing is on Sunday, the 29th, I did one card using the Boho Indigo kit by Stampin' Up. It's a product medley kit in the annual catalog. I think it's a gorgeous card. And then I made a few more cards, but they will be shown in September's, um, what do you call it? September's <laughs> um, amount, uh, crafty goals, crafty goals. So there you have it. That's everything I made for... August, that is the, what did I say, 90, 77, excuse me, 77 items down from 100 and something last month. I, I can't, I lost that piece of paper. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and get back on track. I have learned something. Um, our word this month is prepare, and I guess I was not as prepared for, um, for my computer going down as I should have been. And then I kind of got in a funk where, yeah, the computer's not here. I'm just not gonna create anything. And I didn't. And that's why I didn't, I didn't even have, I didn't have videos pre-done to load them um, ahead of time for the collabs. And then I got to the point where I just didn't want to do them. So I didn't and um, so, I have to take, um, learn from example from my friend, friends, several friends that work way in advance, but the one that comes to mind first and foremost is Stamp Girl, hi Paige, because she always works in advance, and I start off trying to do that, and then somehow I lose it. So in looking, let me get my pink book back. Looking at September, I'm going to try and better prepare. I don't know what our word is for September. But I always have like a little bit of room in here. Now, because I have three, I have two lives and a video every week for Stampin' Up! And then I have the collabs. I, I usually don't prepare for them till the day of. So they're fresh in my mind when I go to make them. That's okay with me, but the other days in between, I need to work way in advance. Like, I don't have these two collabs done yet, so I need to do those. So, what's coming up, this is where I'm at here. I did do Lovely Ladies, Autumn Colors. Um, I did do my Tuesday Night Live from my phone. I did get my computer back uh, just after lunch or around lunch storing lunch time on the third and then I spent the afternoon you know making sure everything was there blah 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 um I opted out of the sheet load because I hadn't had them done and so I didn't post when everybody did and my name wasn't on the links that month but it will be next month um 
and this is so I did Friday also and I did that from my phone but I just did tag buffet and so this is what I'm recording now and that's too long I'm sure so Sunday what's coming up is I have I'm going to do my 3k subscriber drawing on Sunday around 1 it will not be a live it will be a video but I'm gonna sit my laptop here um, and do the random camp comment picker so everybody can see and I'll figure that out beforehand and I'll do it as a video but you should see that around 1 on Sunday and then I have a 5 p.m. live and I had written in to de stash jewelry beads etc that will be postponed till probably the 13th which is National Grandparents Day everybody <clears throat> so I really have to hustle my bustle I want to get these done um, probably on Monday and then I want to get things due on the 15th and the 18th done, Wednesday and Thursday. And then that Saturday and Sunday, I need to spend doing all the rest of these collabs. Because what happens is, I usually do okay up until about here. And then all of a sudden, I'm in a panic because all these things come at the end of the month and... I don't seem to have enough time to do them and the two lives and the Sunday stamping for Stampin' Up. So um, there's a couple that I probably will not be continuing in next year if they even continue. Um, two or three. I've already stopped doing hashtag use it up on the 28th. I didn't do the Pinspiration collab last month and I may not do that the rest of the year as well. I will continue smash that small paper pad. This is not even one anymore. Unfold Friday. Um, and I will continue stickier side of crafting and the monthly card collab and the new project same paper collab and, and uh, as long as it goes, the Great American Stash Bash. I will continue those. I don't even have that one written in. Um, if those don't, some of those don't continue over into next year, that's okay. I'm probably going to be adding one or two other collabs, um, but there'll be cards and, um, one will be stamping up for sure and the other one won't be. So stay tuned for that. Um, and that would be with Stamp Girl. I don't know if anyone else is going to join us on those or not. So anyway. That's it, guys. That's all I have. So I wasn't well prepared for August. I'm going to try and better prepare for September and try and get as many things done before mid-month as I can for the ones at the end of the month. And then, actually, I'm going to take a few days. I need a few days to organize and get ready to do beading de-stashes and or finding a liquidation company to liquidate a lot of what I have. Um, and I, But I need to take those actions. I need a day actually even in here somewhere to do the paperwork stuff in my computer that I mentioned earlier. And um, I just really need to clean up the crafty room mess. Plus the weather's nice right now and I have yard work still to do. And as a result of last week's yard work, I have poison. Yes, I do. And I believe the guilty, the guilty uh, vine, it was a vine growing up my house in a corner. And I just, I had gloves on, but I yanked it and it must have brushed my arm. I don't remember that, but yeah, anyway. All right, I'm almost at 30 minutes. I am going to let you go. Please do check out all the other collab participants and see how they did against their goals. And I do apologize to my fellow collab members. I just haven't had a time to watch everybody's videos, especially it's really hard to watch them on this little iPhone. I mean, they're bigger than they used to be, but I can't watch that many videos on my iPhone. So I have my computer back, so hopefully this month I'll, I'll catch up. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace.